Okay guys, I'm pretty fired up about this video and Zuki just recently sent me these STL files for his 3D printed helical FPV antenna and you can see it right here. I showcased it in a previous video. Zuki had it connected to his SkyZone goggles. And so what I wanted to do is just show this print in progress and then we're gonna follow up in a few days with a build video. And the really cool thing about this is while Zuki will be selling a kit, that you guys can purchase. He's, I've also talked to him and got him to agree to making these files available on Thingiverse. So you guys will have the option to do the full build, your set with your own parts, or buy the kit, or actually get a fully assembled version. So before I print, let me just point out this piece right here is actually a template. It's a coil template for your antenna wire. You can see it goes in here and then you'll get to coil on up. So this template is cool because you can keep it around after you print it and use it to build other antennas. So let me go ahead and get this ready. Now one thing that Zuki suggested is because we will be working with PLA, I print with a Replicator 2, he prints with a 2X, so I use PLA. His suggestion was for me to go ahead and scale this up a 0.5%. So I'm gonna change that to 0.5, hit enter. Now these things have scaled up. We don't want to scale the template. And I'm going to go ahead and click make. And for our settings, our infill, Zuki suggested 100%. Well, I'm cheap and I don't have a bunch of PLA left. So I'm going to do 75%, leave the number of shells at 2, and leave the default layer height of 0.3 millimeters. And you can see now that MakerWare is slicing everything up. It'll save it and then we'll be able to print it. Okay, we got everything exported. We're gonna build from SD card and select the FPV helical antenna. All right, here we go. Okay, so everything is printed for this helical antenna. Laid out just exactly as you saw it in MakerWare. Print time, one hour and 58 minutes. Now, in the future, once you keep the template, that's where a majority of the print time happens. So I think without that template, the print could have been done in less than an hour. So let me go ahead and pull these off the build plate. Now that everything is 3D printed, I'll get in touch with Zuki. We'll get him over here and we'll do a walkthrough build of this helical FPV antenna. And just really excited about what's going on in the community. As you guys probably know, this is Ivy Crazy helical design. Zuki has now evolved it with a 3D printed design that he's gonna make available on Thingiverse. And if you have any questions or comments about this helical, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.